be cooking tamales and they are really good and the recipe that we're going to be cooking uh, will be on my website however it's not quite as much as we have here because if you like tamales once you make them one time you will want a whole bunch of them and they freeze really well so we're going to cook about probably a double batch so they're going to be really nice and hopefully you will um, cook them for yourself and you will like them. The first thing we're going to do is we've bought some roast, beef roast and pork roast. And the first thing we're going to do is cut it down to size because we want this to cook really good. So we're just going to start cutting this. <coughs> and you want a roast that's got plenty of marbling. And we're going to cut it into about one inch pieces because it's going to cook uh, boil in water for just about an hour and a half to two hours depending on the size that you cut your meat up is going to be how long it takes to be ready so we're cutting these up into about one inch pieces and when we are finished we're going to put them in a pot of boiling water and they're going to boil for anywhere from an hour and a half to two and a half hours depending on how large you've cut them how thick the uh, meat is that you got and we're also going to trim away any uh, really fibrous or yucky pieces because this is, you know, after that you make all this stuff, you do not want to have to go back and, and fight through some of this stuff. Well, we finished cutting up our uh, por uh, beef roast, which we have here, and we trimmed off more of the gristly parts that were in our roast. Um, we've left some of them though because we are going to be going through this by hand later on and we can pull that stuff out and we do want to have a lot of uh, juices and fat and stuff while we're uh, that cook off into the liquid we're going to be boiling it in because that water is what we're going to use to mix in with the mesa arena to make it uh, a dough. We also have pork roast here. Uh, the original recipe just calls for pork but I like to add them together because I happen to like beef and pork and so we're just going to cut them together. Um, we're looking for bones in this one. This roast, uh, this is just a plain old uh, butt pork butt roast and it's just got a couple of bones and we don't want to leave that in there because we might accidentally miss it. And we're going to go ahead and cut this up the exact same way. This one has a large amount of fat on it and that's okay. We want to leave it because it's going to cook out whenever we boil this. and we are going to cut it up the exact same way we did with the beef roast which is just into about one inch cubes we have done, we finished cubing all of our pork and our beef and what we're going to do now is put it in boiling water and it's going to boil as I said earlier from about one hour and a half to two hours and a half so we're going to go ahead and place it in here And we're just going to put it in there around the edges, try not to splash yourself. And this water is not seasoned because we don't want to add any extra stuff to it now. If we do, then it'll be hard to regulate salt and the other seasonings once we put it into the mesa arena. We've added all of our meat and we're just going to stir it up a little bit to get it all nice and uh, broken up so there's no clumps. And we're going to put our top on here and it's going to return to the boil. We've got our meat in the pot and it will be boiling for a while so we're going to go ahead and start mixing up our spices. What we have here are some ancho chilies which are sweet and they're kind of a fruity taste. We have just regular chili pods which is what they may use to make chili flakes and chili powder. And we also have some Another kind of chili, which I can't say the name, but it's G-U-A-J-I-L-L-O. And these are going to be a lot like the anchos. You can certainly buy just chili powder and add it. The recipe calls for just chili powder, but I wanted to go ahead and make my own blend, which is what I usually do because it gives it a better flavor. Um, none of these are really that hot. So if you just make your tamales with this blend, it's not going to be very uh, spicy. If you want to add spice to it, you can certainly add like a chipotle chili powder or some other powder chili that you like. Um, what you want to do with these is take off the, the end of the pod 
and dump out the seeds <coughs> and just kind of tear them apart. And what we're going to do with these, if you have a coffee grinder, you can use it, or they do sell spice grinders. You just put them in there, and we're going to do one of each to start with. And if you, if you want to add the seeds to it, you certainly can. Uh, we're not going to, because they tend to get stuck in people's teeth. So we're just going to break them up like paper. Be sure to get pots that are really dry if you can. You don't want to have ones that aren't dry, otherwise they're not going to uh, chop up properly in the spice grinder. Alright, we're going to put those in here. This happens to be a coffee grinder. I'm just going to shake it up a little bit until they are ready to go. Alright, this is just about the right tim uh, size. And as you can see, it pretty much has turned it into chili powder. And we're going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Um, if you don't have a spice grinder or you don't have a coffee grinder, if you happen to have one of these um, things that are silver in color, but I'm not going to say the name, you can certainly use it and you'll go ahead and take some of your uh, broken up things, chili pods, and put them in there. And we found out the name of the, the, the pronunciation of that pepper. It's guajillo. I'll go ahead and put these in here. This also goes a lot faster than in the little spice grinder. Significantly faster. These need to go on in just a little bit more. There's a few specks left. But this is also another way, and it's certainly a lot faster. Sifting out the chili powder to get out any big flakes that didn't make it through the grinder, because we don't want anybody to get a surprise. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and put the rest, the little bits that we have left over, into the grinder and finish them up. And then we will have a wonderful homemade chili powder. Uh, we're not going to use all this. <laughs> Obviously, that's a lot of chili powder. Um, what we'll do is we'll put it in the freezer in a plastic container and until we use it again. Well, our meat has finished um, boiling. We cooked it for just about an hour and a half to two hours. We tested it a few times. So it's going to be really easy to just mush it with our fingers and have it come apart. And this is what you want. You don't want it to be difficult. Uh, what we're going to do is shred up this until... We have it all done. We're putting it in this pan and we're going to switch it back into here because this is the pan we're going to use to uh, add the spices to it. We have a spice mix here that we created. First we started with our chili peppers and things that we ground together. We added some salt, oregano, garlic powder, and cumin. And we created a mix that we're going to use uh, along with some flour to season the meat. And then we will start on wrapping the tamales.